Hi everyone, it's Kathleen here and I'm very excited to be the guest designer on the Altenew blog for February. And my absolute favorite thing about Altenew are definitely the gorgeous floral stamps and dies. And I frequently use them on layouts and cards. So for today I decided to do something a little bit different. And I have this leaf medallion die set here that you can see to the left. And I already have, or I still have some two of those that I die cut earlier for a different project. So my idea was to create lots of leaf medallions in different colors. So my first idea was to have pinks and kind of aqua turquoise um, leaf medallions that would fit the theme of my photos. So I planned on using photos from our Costa Brava trip, so very bright and sunny and summery. And um, yeah, I took two pieces of eight and a half by 11 inch cardstock, just regular cardstock, and I coated them with clear gesso. So I already did that before uh, I started filming off camera. So this piece of cardstock here is already coated with clear gesso. So this is why the paint is, why I can move the paint around and why it really flows and um, you can kind of manipulate it. So. When I was happy with how the paint looked, I took my heat gun or my heat tool to dry the paper a little bit because I was impatient. And while doing this, I kind of switched or changed my plan and decided to have more of an ombre uh, look. So from pink to orange, yellow, and then yellow to green and turquoise. So this is now the second sheet that I'm um, coating with all different kinds of spray paints. So I have shimmers, I have some ultra new spray paints, I have highly swap. Just, you know, I just took whatever fit the color scheme. And in case you are not familiar with um, gesso or what gesso do does, so here you can see around the edges of my papers, um, the paint looks a bit different and that is where I didn't have any gesso. So where there's no gesso, the paint will soak right into the paper and you won't be able to move the paint around and it doesn't, it's not that easy to mix and blend it. So once the paper was dry, I am now cutting it apart to be able to die cut this, the um, leaf medallions. And I made sure to cut, you know, cut around the leaf medallion die very closely because I wanted to get as much um, as many die cuts out of the card set that I, as I could. So I'm running it through my die cutting machine. I'm using a Spellbinders Platinum 6, but the dies work with any die cutting machine. And I'm running it through a few times because since I have that coat of gesso on there and the paint, and it is already quite thick cardstock, um, it's, it's better when you have an intricate die to just, you know, run it through a few times. And then I used my Spellbinders tool to get, tool in one to get the little pieces out of the die cut and the die. And this is especially handy with a die like this, because as you can see, it took seconds to actually free the die from all of the excess little pieces. So here I'm doing the second one and you can see that it doesn't, it's not big enough to fit my whole die, but that's fine because I plan on overlapping the die cuts later on anyway, so um, it's okay if there's a few die cuts that didn't cut, you know, where I couldn't cut the entire thing. So here, what I'm showing you here is just that I even really like the confetti that resulted from die cutting all of these leaf medallions. So I actually kept um, two bags of confetti, so one with the pink and yellow ones, and then um, another one with the green, or yellow and turquoise ones. So what I am doing now is I'm using this embossed clear dabber to be able to emboss those little pieces and some gold tinsel embossing powder. So what I wanted to do is I didn't want to emboss the whole thing, but just have some gold glitter um, sparkle just here and there on each leaf medallion. So I'm just dabbing it around randomly on those pieces and then covering that leaf medallion with the gold tinsel embossing powder, dabbing off the excess and then heating it with the heat tool. And 
the nice thing is that you can, if you weren't happy with with how or where the embossing powder landed or where you dabbed, you can just um, brush it off and try again. So now it is time to arrange those pieces and I wasn't sure how, how I want to have them on my page. I was thinking about doing them in a vertical line um, and then tucking my photos in like on the right and left side. Then I was thinking about maybe going horizontal and yeah, I, I wasn't exactly sure, so I just played around a little bit. And actually I like the look of almost all of those versions. So here I'm trying horizontal, and then I wanted to obviously also put in all of the other pieces, so the turquoise and aqua ones. So yeah, it was getting, the page was getting fuller and, but I really liked it. So at first I wasn't even sure if I want to use all of them, I just made a bunch so that I wouldn't need to go back to die cutting and watercoloring and embossing. So this is why I just made a whole bunch of them, because even if I did, wouldn't end up using all of them on a layout, I could still use those leaf medallions later on for a card, for example. So this is now roughly the arrangement that I will that will end up on my page, because I really like that, yeah, very full and, I don't know, it. it it really appealed to me and to stick those pieces down I'm using the adhesive sheets of sticky dots from Thermoweb because I'm useless um, with using liquid glue. I will have glue on my hands and everywhere else where I don't want it. So these sheets are, they are just the best invention ever I think. Um, so it's just a sheet with a whole lot of teeny tiny sticky dots so you just um, pull the backing off and then stick whatever you want to glue down to your page on there so that the sticky dots adhere themselves to that piece and then you can actually put it on your layout or your card or whatever you need um, and so it's great for very intricate designs with thin lines and where you would and have um, liquid adhesive showing through otherwise so yeah, it's it's a great thing and they last you a very long time. So I just used one corner of that sticky dot sheet for all of these pieces here. So now I'm just going in with the liquid glue just on the corner of my layout to stick some of those pieces down. But it's really, so these came in really handy. And as I said, if I had tried to glue all of these things down with liquid adhesive, I would have um, glue stuck to my hands and my desk and everywhere. So for everyone who is struggling with liquid adhesive, definitely check out these sticky dot um, sheets by Thermoware. And yeah, now I'm, I cut off the excess and because I don't want to waste anything, I was trying to figure out a way where I could put those um, cutoffs. And I still had some white space, as you can see on the bottom, um, edge and also on the right side a little bit so I want to fill those in but I didn't have any cut off that was big enough for that pink part of the layout but I still had this piece that you can see to the left of my layout from um, where I watercolored on that white, white, pe white piece of cardstock sorry um, because I kept it because you never know when you when this comes in handy just for maybe die cutting a flower or whatever so I never throw these things away because you can always die cut something out of it. And you can see here that it actually um, came in handy right away. So I cut that just half of the leaf medallion out because I knew I didn't need the whole thing. And then also embossed it a little bit with that glitter embossing powder. And now I'm sticking down these remaining pieces. And then the rest of the embellishing, it's actually not a lot that I will do, but um, this is what I then did off camera because it, it was actually just, you know, adding my title with some um, alphabet stickers, adding my photo. I did use two rub-ons from a Pink Paisley Paige Evans collection, and I also tucked in, you will see it in a second, um, I also tucked in some flowers that I made with the Alto New garden picks 3d die set so you can see it in a second here it is and here you can see the roses that i added with 
a color on color technique. So I added a pink rose in the pink section and so on. And yeah, other than that, not much embellishing because I think that pages, you know, the leaf medallion already adds quite a lot. So I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. And a big thank you to Altenew for having me as a guest designer. So I hope to see you again soon and have a great day. Bye.